We finally installed a rain barrel. And typically you see the screen on the inside. We just put it on the outside. We have this little flexible gizmo that came with it. And we have our old gutter right here that we just cut so that we can piece it back together if we have to. This is going to be effective is because we are so high up, we're up two stories. This yellow hose is the overflow hose when the rain barrel fills up. You don't want the water to just overflow the Because top. our rain barrel is up on the second story, we don't want to have to run up there and turn it on with the little faucet. What we did was we rigged up a little gizmo on the end of the shower head. $3 part for a water hose so that we can turn it off and on. So this is on constantly from the upstairs area. And we just turn it off and on with this little switch. I think you might be able to find just one fitting, but we actually have two different fittings. We already had this one fitting. We have a nice concrete walkway, thankfully. We can walk right here around this and into the shower. What we will be doing is taking some shutters that we have in the garage and we will be installing them on this side. We already have my big old sign from my coffee shop as one wall and then we're going to add a few more walls with shutters that my father-in-law gave us and then I think we're going to have us a shower. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the shower head. You definitely cannot use a low flow shower head. This one has a ton of little outlets and you really want to go for something that will let as much water out as possible because this is not a typical pressure driven system. This is a gravity fed system and in order for it to work you are going to have to elevate your tank. The higher you can get it the better and that will create enough pressure and please put it in a safe spot. Um, if our deck cannot handle this rain barrel then we have bigger problems but don't load a bunch of rain barrels up on top of your deck and expect it to hold without doing some serious research i also read online that a ball joint is going to be more effective because it lets out more water so you may want to try that instead of this type of We are going to be using vinyl shutters and this will be the partition around our outdoor shower. And the end is slightly tapered with grooves in it to cut their way in to make sure they seat well. And I'm going to use that small end for reference for this bit. And drill a hole in here and seat them in and see how they go. We will be using three screws on each panel, one at each end and then one in the center. So the concrete blocks are all down. We have one of our panel sections. We use these old milk boxes as part of the wall. And I have two more here that will support the actual Getting shutters. ready to put two sections of shutters together. And we had to notch out this one top section and the bottom section in order for this to slide in. And then we are going to screw it together just like we screwed all the other Easy panels sheet together. Metal screws to join the vinyl shutters together. a little block on the 4x4 four four where we are going to set the shutters that have now been all stuck together. 
<laughs> there it went. <laughs> it's not possible to do one person hardly. Woo, he did it. So it's up on the little block. We are attaching this to the 4x4 four four with four wood screws evenly spaced along the panel. We are going to have to wire this one side because it's vinyl. It wants to kind of give this a little. Finished. Travel project. <laughs> <laughs>